Hi, I'm Wanda Nelson, and I want to share with you my experience with taking the detox duck. Today is Monday, Columbus Day, October 9th, 2017, and I recently learned that I could order the detox duck online in one of my Facebook groups. Um, I ordered it on September 30th. 2017 and I received it through the United States Postal Service on the following Saturday October 7th and if you don't aren't familiar with the product here's the package for it the detox dehydrated duck flour this is the product that I ordered and that I took and I want to tell you about So I was first made aware of the detox flower um, by watching several YouTube videos that people had posted. And these are people who had um, visited Dr. Sebi's Yusha Village down in Honduras. Um, I was interested in taking a duck. I was interested in going down to Honduras, but I had no plans to do so. Um, so when I learned that this product was available to order online, I took advantage of it and ordered it. Um, <clears throat> I began following the African Biomineral Balance lifestyle back in May of 2017. So this is October, so it's only been five months for me. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why I started following the Afro Biomineral Balance lifestyles because I have um, a lot of health issues. Uh, nothing, no one particular issue that was serious or should I say terminal, but I had a lot of small issues that I was afraid that if I did not address them that um, something terminal would happen. Um, Granted, I know we all are going to die. We all have to leave this earth, but I wanted to push that as far out as I possibly could. So back in May, um, I transitioned. I started following an herbal regimen, um, which included um, changing the foods that I ate. I followed the Dr. Sebi's nutritional guide as best as I could. I admit that I don't follow it 100% every day, every meal, but I pretty much stick to it. Um, and then I also um, engage in fasting, periodic fasting. Fasting is something that I've been doing for many years. I do religious fasting for religious reasons, and I also do fasting for um, cleansing my body. So <clears throat> that part I was already used to. Um, in the last five months, I've experienced several improvements in my health. Um, I have successfully, successfully reversed diabetes. Um, other things I have um, realized, I have decreased joint pain, uh, decreased joint swelling, decreased joint noises, um, cracking and popping of bones. <clears throat> um, I've never been diagnosed with arthritis, but I believe that I had it. Um, I probably still have it, um, but the severity has decreased significantly. Um, I also have no more acid reflux. Um, I also have no more sinus infections. Um, <clears throat> In the mornings when I, or whenever I wash my face, I would also follow washing face with cleaning up my nose. And I would always have traces of blood in my nose. And that's indicative of a sinus infection. Um, so I would say soon after I started um, my transition, um, traces of blood in my nose went away. So the sinus infection, I believe, was gone. Um, also, when I would lay down, I could feel mucus moving in my head. So whatever side I would lay on, the mucus would go to the lower side of my body. Um, that also decreased as well. 
Um, even though I've um, made headway in those areas, I still have additional issues to address. So I'm going to stick with the Afro Biomineral Balance lifestyle. Um, when I learned about the detox duck, I was interested in taking it because um, I'm aware that it has medicinal properties. It um, gets rid of a large amount of mucus in a very short time span. So I was interested in that because I'm sure that mucus was the main reason why I'm having health issues. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, I thought it could move me closer to my health goals in a shorter amount of time. Um, so I ordered it and I want to share with you what I experienced. Um, today is Monday, October 9th, 2017. Um, it is a work day for me. Um, even though it being a work day, generally my body, um, react slowly to things. Um, I also suffer from chronic constipation. Um, so I anticipated <clears throat> um, bowel movements and vomiting. Um, that's what I saw other people report in their videos. So that's what I anticipated experiencing myself. But because my body generally reacts slowly, I thought that I could get through my work day before I would experience any symptoms. Um, so what happens at 7.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I ate the duck. Um, the duck, um, it's about three by five inches in size. Um, I would say it's about the size of my cell phone screen. Um, <clears throat> it arrived in a, this is a foil package, foil, flat foil envelope. And like the package says, it was, the duck is dehydrated, so it was kind of flattened. Um, I took it out the package. Um, I tore it and then put the pieces in my mouth. So I think I consumed the whole thing in about three bites or three sections that I chewed up and swallowed. The taste of it was tolerable. Um, wasn't nothing that I gagged on. Um, it was kind of chewy, rubbery, if you will. So it took me a while to chew it. And then I kind of had to force myself to swallow it. Um, I did drink a swallow of water in between each bite to get it down. It may have taken me maybe a minute to get through all three sections. Um, that, again, that was at 7.09. Um, I finished getting ready for work, got in my car. I have um, about an hour commute to work, so 7.09, I think I was on the road about 7, 8, 7.45, I was in my car driving. Um, about 8.25, I started feeling the detox duct working in my body. Um, the first things I experienced, um, I could feel mucus moving in my head. Again, I'm very sensitive to that because I um, I suffer from sinusitis. Um, so I know what mucus feels like moving in my head. Again, when I lay down, I'm used to mucus moving to the lower, whichever side I'm laying on. It moves to the lower side of my body. So I did recognize that mucus was moving in my body. Um, and also my stomach started getting a little queasy. At that point, I was only about halfway um, in my commute, in my daily commute to my job. Um, so I thought I better pull over because I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't expecting to experience anything that soon after taking the detox duck. So um, the next stop happened to be a rest stop. So I did pull off, off the road and went into the restroom at the rest stop. Um, glad I did um, because things got intense. <clears throat> um, my bowels started moving. Um, I was spitting up mucus a lot, and at some point I started vomiting. Um, again, I was in the handicap stall 
at the rest stop. Um, standing over the toilet, um, not sure at times whether to stand or whether to sit. Um, I had mild, I'm going to say convulsions in my body. Uh, my body felt like it was vibrating, shaking a little bit. And um, I could tell something was going to come out. I just didn't know which direction was it going to come up or go down. I wasn't sure, so I kind of was on standby. Um, had the toilet seat covered with toilet paper. And again, I was standing. I was holding on to the handicap support bars that were on the wall behind the toilet. Uh, just standing by ready, whichever way it came, I was going to try to react quickly so I could aim and get in the toilet, whatever was coming out, get it in the toilet. Uh, didn't want to mess over myself. Didn't want to make a mess in the restroom either. Um, so once my head, um, I could feel me just moving. Um, I could also feel my head was, I hate to use the word throbbing because throbbing is usually associated with headaches and pain. Um, I did not have pain, although I could feel like my head felt like maybe my brain or something was contracting and expanding, contracting and expanding. Um, <clears throat> And then I was a few moments of that, maybe seconds of that, and then I just started vomiting. Um, while I was vomiting, I remember um, my eyes were watering quite a bit. I do wear eyeglasses. I had to take my eyeglasses off because I didn't know what was going to happen to those. I stayed in the handicap stall in the bathroom, in the women's restroom at the rest stop for about the next two hours. Um, during that two hours, just, there was just really a lot of sitting and waiting. Um, I, I had about six bowel movements total over that two hour period and um, just the one episode of vomiting. Um, as you can imagine, I wanted to leave. I wanted to go out of there. Um, I left and went outside briefly so that I could call my job and let my job know that I wasn't going to make it in. I couldn't get a signal inside the bathroom so I had to go outside the bathroom and that <clears throat> I was only outside briefly. I don't even know if it was over a minute to make that phone call before I returned back into the handicap stall. Um, at some point, I felt like my body was kind of leveling out. You know, the bowel movements were um, not as much volume was coming out in the bowel movements. Um, again, I had not thrown up since that first bout of vomiting, um, although I continued to spit out mucus. Um, that was, um, let's see if I can give you a time frame. I was spitting often. Mucus was filling up my mouth with um, saliva and that was coming out quite a bit. Um, but when I kind of felt like I leveled out, I wanted to return home. Um, of course, that requires some planning. Um, I didn't want to be on the road and have a bout of vomiting or a bowel movement either. Um, so I was looking for a bag. I had one grocery bag in my car and that grocery bag had two holes in the bottom of it. So that wasn't going to work. Um, so I returned to the, uh, rest stop restroom looking around in there to see what I could take with me. Um, the bathroom was pretty clean. Um, so my options were few. Um, I was going to take the actual trash bag out the trash can in the restroom um, but I noticed that there was a steel box mounted on the wall behind the toilet. Um, that's for women to put their used sanitary products in. Um, it's kind of desperate at this point. It's either going to be the trash bag out the trash can, which probably had trash in it because, um, there was a lot of foot traffic coming in and out the restroom. Um... 
So I just put my forehead to the wall and peeked down inside of the box and there was nothing inside the bag. No one had put any used items in the um, <clears throat> sanitary box. So I grabbed that paper bag out of that box and it was um, it was a paper bag but it had some kind of coating on it. So um, I guess to withstand liquid. Um, so that worked perfectly for my purpose. Um, so I took that with me and I kept it in my lap as I drove back home. Um, at this point, I was into the third hour after taking the t detox duck when I had decided to go back home. Um, I made it home without any incidents. Um, the only thing I noticed on the drive home um, my body temperature was fluctuating. Um, I had chills a couple of times. Um, a couple of times my body temperature shot up and I was actually perspiring somewhat. Um, for those of you women, middle-aged women, my age, um, who experienced hot flashes, my body temperature did not go as high as a hot flash. Uh, but it was just enough for me to perspire slightly. Um, I continued spitting in the bag on the drive home. And just to give you an idea of the distance, um, the rest stop is pretty much the halfway point in my ride, in my commute. So I'm going to say it was about um, 35, 40 miles. Um, yeah, probably closer to 35, 35 miles. So in that 35 minutes that it took me to return home, um, I had spit in mucus into that bag several times. Um, I felt a little nauseous, but I never felt like I was going to throw up. And my bowel, my stomach was a little bit queasy, but I never felt like my bowels were going to move. So I felt pretty safe. Um, as I made it back to town and I was exiting the expressway, um, something weird happened. All of a sudden, I felt like crying. I was overtaken with um, strong feelings of sadness, and I felt like I just wanted to just burst into tears, just cry. Um, I have... Um, suffer from depression in my past so I really did detox duck when it was pulling that mucus out of my brain I think it triggered um, just a brief moment of depression um, that lasted no more than two minutes um, again I just felt like I just really just wanted to ball for no reason just out the blue um, and then that passed um, I made it home um, at this point, I was physically exhausted. Um, I just wanted to climb into my bed. Um, but I knew it wasn't safe for me to do so without, again, some more planning. So I went, I have a, um, plastic tub about the size of a shoebox. Um, I went and grabbed that and I put that next to my bed just in case, you know, um, in case I had to vomit. Um, I continued spitting up mucus. Um, my nose was running, so I was getting drainage coming through my nose. Um, my stomach was growling at this point. I was hungry, um, so I had hunger pangs. Um, I had already intended on starting a fast also on this day. <clears throat> Excuse me, so no food was in the plans for me for today. Um, I was getting concerned because normally I would have drank um, at least 32 ounces of liquid at that point. Um, but I had not consumed anything since I had um, swallowed the duck at 7.09 a.m. And this was well into um, after 11 a.m., some four hours after um, taking the duck. 
Um, so I was a little concerned about um, my hydration, especially with the expelling all the mucus and with the bowel movements. Um, at no point did I ever feel like I was going to pass out. Um, so I felt okay just to continue. Um, I was tired. I wanted to lay down. So uh, um, at some point, I gave in to exhaustion and I laid down in my bed. Again, the tub was next to my bed on the floor. Um, as soon as I laid down on my left side, and as soon as my head hit the pillow, it was like someone turned on a faucet in my head, and I could just feel mucus just, just shoot to the lower side, the left side of my head. And immediately I had to spit, and so I leaned over my bed, almost upside down because my feet were still up on my bed and my body was my upper body was down towards the floor over the bucket or the tub and um I started spitting up and the volume of the spit and the mucus was more than it had been that was the most it had been at that point and immediately I had started vom vomiting and um I had to reposition my body because I was pretty much upside down. So I had to um, throw my feet around underneath me and get up. And then I just stood over the tub and just let it come on out. Um, my daughter was home because it was from school because it was Columbus Day for her. So um, I yelled out to her to get me some paper towels. Um, she came in and gave me a big ew. <laughs> that was her moral support for what I was going through. Um, but once I finished vomiting, I actually felt better. Um, before that second episode of vomiting, I had felt nauseous continuously. Um, stomach was uneasy continuously. But um, after that second bout of vomiting, uh, the nausea left for a little while. Um, it did come back later. Um, um, I wanted to, I was still exhausted. I wanted to go back to bed, but I, of course, was afraid to lay back down again, afraid that the change in body position and elevation of my head would trigger another vomiting spell, and I didn't want to do that. So I just sat up in my bed for a while, and, um, my body temperature continued to fluctuate. Um, I was cold. I was wrapped in, I think I had two blankets on me, and I was still freezing. Um, that only lasted briefly, maybe some minutes, and then my body temperature would shoot back up. So it's hard for me to tell. I'm, I know the body temperature was changing because of the detox duct, but um, just on a normal basis, I do have hot flashes. So I don't know if, like, the detox duck was battling with the hot flashes. I don't know, but my body temperature was going way up and then way down, then way up, then way down. Um, I don't know how long I sat up on my bed. It wasn't too long. I don't think it's longer than 30 minutes. And I just said, forget it. I'm just going to lay down again. And I did. And um, I was fine. I did not have that feeling of the mucus shooting across my head and coming out my body. Um, I did, I started drifting off to sleep. Um, I would wake up every so often with the need to spit out more mucus into the uh, tub that was on the floor next to my bed. Um, but I felt better laying down even though I was waking up periodically. And again, I don't know how often I was waking up. It just seemed like every few minutes. It may have been once every 15 minutes. It could have been once every half an hour. I did not time that. Um, at some point, I fell um, when I was asleep. I was wakened by a coldness in my body. And that coldness, I think that was the lowest my body temperature had gone. And it was weird because it wasn't a chill. It was just, I don't know how I can explain it, but I was just overcome with coldness. And while I was cold, <clears throat> I felt 
this sensation in my body like um, all of a sudden something was drawing all the mucus out of both legs and pulling it up into my abdomen and I just laid there in the bed with my eyes big like oh my god it's draining my legs um, that lasted um, maybe 10 to 15 seconds and then it went away the feeling of drainage stopped um, my body temperature went back up to normal I don't know that was weird but then that was over um, earlier um, another thing I experienced was um, in my on my right thigh it felt like a nerve just like flickered a little bit and um, I didn't know what that was but I just made note of it um, while I was laying in the bed I felt another um, nerve flicker of a nerve and that one was under the bottom of my left foot uh, where my ball joint is it started at my ball joint and it moved left to like my baby toe and then it was over um, so I started as I was laying in the bed I was thinking you know like what was the duck at dressing um, when I was experiencing these things and I recall back in 2009 um, I was going down some carpet carpet covered stairs with socks on and one of my feet slipped and the other one stayed behind on a higher step and the other one moved forward and um, the foot that was behind which I believe was my left foot it like bent as far my toes bent as close to my foot as possible and um, that injury and I forget I had looked it up I forgot what it was called but that injury bothered me for quite some time um, arthritis actually has set into that spot um, whenever it would rain, I would feel pain in that exact spot where my left foot bends, where the toes bend, and um, my foot goes up. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing the duck, because I know I have arthritis, um, I'm guessing the duck was pulling mucus out of that injury. Uh, I'm having a hard time figuring out what was going on with, with my right thigh where I felt that flickering of a nerve. Um, only thing I could come up with um, when I was a teenager, <laughs> I'm 50 years old right now, uh, but when I was a teenager, um, this is the only thing I remember. One time I was doing a cartwheel and um, I'm pretty tall. I'm, my height is five foot nine. And um, when my feet, when I was, my body was 180 degrees, um, there was a clothesline that I had not noticed and as my body, my legs or my feet were in the air and as my body was coming back down, my legs caught, were caught on a clothesline and I was bringing it down with the weight of my body and I had a cut, a scar on my thigh for many years. I don't see the scar anymore. It's a long time ago. But, um, I had a scar on my thigh. That's the only thigh incident that I remember in my lifetime so far. Doesn't mean next week I might remember something. Next month I might remember something. My memory works a little slow at times. Uh, but that's the only incident I can recall happening to my thighs. Um, I lay down in the bed going in and out of sleep for several hours. Um, it felt good. I didn't have any need to get up. Um, I think after about 7 p.m., which would have been 12 hours after taking a duck, is when I finally got up. Um, I fixed myself some herbal tea. Um, I was scared. I didn't know how my body would react to uh, consuming anything. That was the first thing I had since I took the duck. Um, <clears throat> I was able to keep it down. I didn't have any problems with drinking the herbal tea. Um, 
I still felt a little nauseated. Um, my stomach still felt a little queasy. Um, I was still spitting up mucus, but less frequency. Um, and the volume was significantly less as well. Um, I don't know what time is it now. can't see the time, but I, I believe I'm about 18 hours after taking a duck right now. Um, I still feel just a little bit nauseated and my stomach feels just slightly nervous. I don't feel like it's um, significant enough for me to um, go to the bathroom. I don't feel like I'm going to vomit. I just feel like just slightly nauseated. Um, I do plan on going to work in the morning. Um, I plan on continuing on with my daily activities as usual, as normal, uh, which consists of me getting up and, um, taking herbal tea, drinking herbal tea. I also take herbs by a capsule. I also take, um, minerals. Um, so I will do that. As usual in the morning um, I drink I try to drink a gallon of spring water daily so I will be drinking my gallon of water um, I might even drink other liquids as well because recall I'm still um, continuing on my liquid fast so I will not be consuming any foods any solid foods I will only be consuming liquids mostly water um, I also have some coconut water um, I might use my juicer and make um, my kale and cucumber juice and drink that. Um, I do have class that I take in the evening, so tomorrow's my long day. So after my work day, I also will be doing um, class. So uh, I won't be sitting still until well maybe about 9 or 10 p.m. tomorrow night so we'll see how the duck does on day two so um let me see here um uh, 